G'day everyone. Today we're going to have a look at Great Wall Hobbies 148 P61B. This is uh, this boxing is from 2013, I think. Uh, it's the last shoot down 1945. Uh, they've done six boxings. I did the original one and when it came out 2011, that was an old drab version. So. This one obviously is the black. As you might agree, I think this is a fascinating looking aircraft. It looks menacing. All right. Instructions. Okay. So, as usual, it is in the cockpit. And we have instructions all over the place. Uh, uh, gun deck, uh, interior fuselage. Continuing on with the interior of the fuselage, uh, counterweight, nose weight, which I think comes with the kit. Uh, then it's this way, oh, that's a bit confusing. Uh, getting the fuselage together, the uh, guns on top on this version. Uh, engines and then on the wings there's some photo etch spoilers on the wings and then where are we at uh, then the uh, tail booms with the uh, you fix the engine and wing on the tail boom and then that goes on to the model somewhere there my goodness we get the drift so there's two schemes to choose from obviously they're both in uh, black so this one's lady in the dark 548th Night Fighter Squadron Iwo Jima Spring 1945 and Anonymous 3 The Spook uh, 548th Night Fighter Squadron Iwo Jima 1945 so they're both same squadrons just different markings oh no, sorry there's Two here. No, hang on. What do we got? Same aircraft number. So one side's a spook, other side's anonymous. That's different. Decals. I will take photos at the end as per usual for close-ups in under that that's the uh, aircraft names all looks good and their uh, stencil data and the American insignia also all looks good Photo etch. It's uh, it's very thick, so I might have to anneal it. These thicker ones, the ones like the harnesses, to help them bend better. Uh, 
Alright, what have we got? Tamiya style staple chip. So I'll have two of these, so I'll just do the one. Interesting that they've removed parts you don't need. Usually you, they just leave them in there. They got the guns, propeller is one piece, so the spinner and the blades are together. Engine cowl, wheels, rudder. No flash, don't see, all looks good. Look, right. oh, falling apart. All right, so that's the instrument panel, control surfaces, uh, gear doors. You see, the instrument panel's got nice raised details so you can either just paint it up and give it a dry brush I'm not sure if there's aftermarket for that there's no uh, decal instrument panel yeah so we got the bulkheads fuselage the uh, deck Another bulkhead with nice raised details, more control surfaces, front, the nose wheel, landing, gear legs, it's just really nice, really nicely moulded. Again, I'll do photos for close-up stills. Wings. All right, so this will just obviously be left and right wing. Uh, nice details, surface details. Light molded in. Tail boom. That's different parts. Again, nice details molded into it. And even the interior of the, that's the nose gear doors. Nice details in there. No ejector pin marks. Good on you, Great Wall Hobby. Same as the rear main gear doors. No ejection pin marks. Although there's some in the, the uh, tail boom, but you're not, you're not seeing it unless you turn it upside down and look at weird angles. Uh, we got nice piece. Which will be painted because this version is a... Uh, not the glass nose version. That's actually raised, I don't know. Might need taken care of. And you got some details, well, it's hard to see clear, moulded into the nose of panels. Oh. Engine cows open closed. 
So if you want to have your display cows open or closed, you can do so. Alright, last, oh no, last, second last, last is clear. Alright, it's a fuselage. And again, nice rivet details. Some um, details in the wall. Again, we got some ejection pin marks, which is disappointing. I could do the gear doors without it. All right, last one. Uh, all good, nice and clear. No scuffing. I'll get some stills of that. Alright, there you have it. I want to build this now, but I can't. Too much on. Anyway, thanks for looking.